All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And the sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. We're going to quick lesson, you know, basically about how we're not supposed to love our lives, you know, or the things of this world, you know. Um, the, the path to being spiritual is a uh very lonely path you know and uh you know when you when you have that uh the word holy means to set apart you know and basically you have to separate yourself from the ways of this world you know in order to 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 continue on that straight and narrow path you know um when you're in this truth so with that said you might you might lose uh friends you know family members women you know when you come into this truth you know but at the same time with, with you losing certain things you also gain a lot you know but this is first john and 15 5 and 19 shalakia first john 5 and 19 and we know that we are of the most high and the whole world lieth and wickedness, you know. Now, that's talking about our people, you know. It's, it's nothing but wickedness out here, you know. Everybody is just walking after the lust of their own heart, you know. Many people, they just don't care, you know, about the Lord or whatever, you know. They, they worshiping idols, you know, with, with, with so-called Jesus you know, uh, Cesar Borgia, you know, uh, these people out here are just so far gone, you know, far away from the Lord, you know, which is, you know, Israel, you know, Israel is, is, is so far gone, you know, they, they, you know, they're just completely wicked, you know, and, you know, this truth is really for men, you know, so, with that said, like, the women are going to go, going to be going off, you know? Also, you know, from, from the Adam and Eve, you might have some women, you know, that are able to give their man, you know, some peace, you know? But in, in this truth, it's, it's, it gets rough, man, you know? When you when you deal with women, children, you know, your mother, whoever, you know? Because it's a wicked world you know and it's not meant for us to 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 prosper you know um luke 14 and 26 if any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters yet yeah, in his own life also he cannot be my disciple you know so this pretty much says that you know you you not not necessarily it's not to say that you can't you know be around your mother and and family members and stuff like that you know but at the same time like you're not supposed to love them more than the Lord you know you you're supposed to put y'all by some y'all side first you know ahead of everything you know. Whether it's your 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 own things, you know, you're not going to listen to your mother if she was to say, "Hey, eat this pork," you know, or your wife, you know. When it comes down to the Lord, you know, you, hey, you gotta put the Lord first, you know, and do what what the Lord wants, you know. That's the order, you know. You can't be the disciple of your Yahweh Shimiyahu Shai, man. If you putting off your Yahweh Shimiyahu Shai and putting everybody else. And even yourself above the Lord, man. It says, and whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me, he cannot be my disciple, you know. So basically, you got to, you know, uh, cut off and sacrifice your, who you was in the past when you come to, to serve the Lord, you know. You have to make them changes, man, you know. And, and sometimes them changes require you to be alone, you know, 
whether from your mother or, or, or being single, you know, that's one of the reasons why Paul wrote that that those that be his wives be as though that they have none, you know, because this time is is very short, you know, and and this is some important work that we got going on, man, you know, as far as trying to be a disciple of the Lord, you know, this is uh, believers Philippians. It should be Philippians. Uh, yeah, Philippians 3 and, um, yeah, Philippians 3 and 7. But what things were were gained to me, those I counted lost for Yahweh Shah. Yeah, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the ex excellency of, of the knowledge of, of Yahweh Shah, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung that I may win Yahweh Shah. You know? So that that's the the mindset that Paul had, you know. Everything that he had before, man, he counted that as basically crap, you know. Our past lives, whatever we was doing before we came into this truth, you know. Or the many different temptations that come along, man, it's all crap, you know. You, you, we, we focused on trying to win Yahweh Shah, you know. So with that said, man, like when you, it's not to say that you can't have a life, you know, or you can't enjoy yourself, you know. Or if you got a woman, you know, you do what you gotta do, you know, to you know, go out or whatever, you know. But the main thing is. When it comes down to the Lord, we trying to win Yahweh Shah, you know. You gotta have fear of Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah, man. You know, cause times is really about to get hard, man. You know, and the kingdom, you know, really this this not our rest right here. You know, we are not here to try to build up a home in this society. You know, or or, or build up a family. You know, hey. You, you can love your mother all day, you know, but regardless of whatever, you know, if you're not in this truth and your mother not in this truth, y'all going to die, man, you know, and, and and who would you rather it be, man, you know, do you want, do you want to pass away, man, because you, you holding on to the things and in, in the ways of this world, you know, and that's a, a, a reality that we have to, to deal with, you know. The scripture says, you know, re remember Lot's wife, you know, Lot stayed focused on the Lord. You know, he told, he t the Lord told him, you know, don't, don't, don't look back. And, you know, that's basically what he did. You know, what Lot's wife looked back, you know, and she's a pillar of salt, you know. So for, for that, you know, nothing that, that we do, man, we should, we should always have our head looking for it, man, you know, because we know that everybody out here, you know, that isn't a part of the truth, you know, that isn't a part of the elect, I should say, <coughs> so like, they're going to get destroyed, you know, Psalm 73 and 25, whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire beside thee. You know, this this the mentality that we should be having, you know. We should be desiring Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shah, you know. The 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 same way with um the the, the virgins, you know. Which which you know the ten the, the ten foolish I mean well the, 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 the parable of the ten virgins in um Matthew twenty five. You know, five was foolish and five was wise. You know, we want to be one of those five wise versions. You know, the scriptures refer to Israel as a calmly and delicate woman. You know, we need to desire the Lord, you know, and do the things that it takes to please the Lord. You know, it says, My flesh and my heart fails, but the Most High, Yahweh Shah, is the strength of my heart. And my portion forever, 
you know the the to being called out of the hell that we was in well we still in this hell you know but to be called and and to have this opportunity this beautiful opportunity to you know make it in the kingdom you know free of charge you know when all you have to do is just do the work of your heart by seeing your I mean that's beautiful man you know because we have this opportunity to have everlasting life you know to have you know the riches you know many women that's going to be willing to please you our loved ones are going to be there you know so right now is not the time for us to be lovey dovey with the world you know so whatever makes you happy, that's going to be, you know, in the kingdom. Right now, we're in a state of mourning. You know, it's a time and place for everything. You know, the Lord is our portion, man. The Lord is, is the strength of our heart, you know, which is your heart is your mind, you know, in the Hebrew, la'ab, you know. Uh, Acts 20 and 24. But none of these things move me, neither count I my life there unto myself. You know, and, and and when you alone, you know, you you learn to 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 be cold to the world, you know, to be more focused than in the Lord. You know, you start caring less about certain things. You know, you you distance yourself away from certain things, and you know, you you find yourself building up that that tolerance against it. You know, so. You know, you, you, you set yourself off from the world, you know, you, you're going to count your life um, that much less dear to you, you know. But if you out here partying every night, having a fun time, you know, like like IUIC and all these other camps, you know, those guys, they count their lives dear to them, you know. It says so that I might finish my course with joy, you know, basically, you know, being by yourself, you know. You finishing your course with joy, you know. Not, not like I said, like it's not to say that you can't, you know, deal with a woman or you know with your children and stuff like that. Be a father, you know. But you know the main thing is you gotta finish this course, man. You know, and whatever is in your way, you know, on this course, man. That that's that's gonna, you know, get you or move you. You know, you need to remove those things. You know. It says, so that I might finish my course with joy in the ministry which I have received of the Lord Yahweh to testify the gospel of the grace of the Most High. You know, Yahweh Basim Yahweh So that's the main thing, man. You know, being alone on a spiritual journey, you know, it's, it's, it's hard, you know, but it's also a beautiful thing once you really look at the very uh, end of all. You know, the the end all be all. You know, we worship a righteous Lord. You know, and the Lord is is our strength. You know, that that's going to get us through these times. You know, before we 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 came into this truth, we was walking whatever way we wanted, but now we have this opportunity to you know to 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 make it into the kingdom. You know, so that's the main thing. You know, we gotta stay on fire, continue to push this work and do, you know, what Yahweh Simeon Asha wants, you know, put him first, you know, even if that means being alone, you know, that's, that's, that's the making full proof of your ministry, man, you know, but with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Simeon Asha, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and it's a shit, so I don't want to talk to Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work and truth and the sincerity. So I don't want.